Hi folks, my name's Cathy. We're here today in the Daily Apron in Lisburn and I'm going to show you how to make shortbread. So the first thing I have is some nice Irish butter. Um, so I'm going to make, use this. I'm just going to cut it up in little chunks. I'm going to use a pound of butter that I'm just going to chop up. I'm going to throw into the bowl of my very special KitchenAid, which I call Scarlet. Can you imagine why? Captain Scarlet. Um, so we're going to chop this up. Then we go, get rid of that. And to this, I'm going to add half a pound of castor sugar. So I want half a pound of castor sugar, which is eight ounces. And it goes. And onto scarlet, we're going to pop. And on we go. And so while that's beating, I want to bring into play some nice corn flour and some plain flour. So I'm going to get a pound of plain flour and then to another bin, half a pound of corn flour. Corn flour is nice and thin. Right, I'm gonna take this off and show you what it looks like inside. And then I'm going to put in both my flours my K-Peter back in and we're going to start this nice and slow that's it and we're going to beat this till it comes together nicely and there we have our nice pastry lovely and ready to roll for our shortbread I'm just going to get a scraper to get that out and it feels so good. The texture is just lovely. You don't want to put too much flour on your workbench because it doesn't need a lot of flour. If you put too much flour on, it'll crack. I'm just going to cut it into two halves. And so I'm just going to show you now how I roll it out. Just doing a little bit of kneading. Gently press down. When I go to roll, I start in the middle and I roll once. Once, start in the middle and roll out. I want to make a thick shortbread. Good size round. Look at that. I have my oven on preheating at 160 degrees. And I'm going to cook those for about 15 minutes till they're just a nice golden tinge around the edge where they're still pale, but they're slightly firm to touch. I've got a smaller cutter, got our, the rest of our dough, and we're going to roll it out again. And this time we're going to roll it out slightly thinner. I think we're good to give that a cut. And when we're cutting, we want to work from the outside in. And these will only take about 10 to 12 minutes. Shortbread ready to go in and our German biscuits ready to go in. So 15, 10 to 12. Good to go. Okay, and our shortbread has cooled, so on our rounds, our large rounds here, we're just going to put some sugar, which I have here in my bin. Looks wonderful. So that's that. Then we're going to go to our smaller rounds. And with that, we're going to jam them and then we're going to sandwich them together. We're going to make some German biscuits. So I'm going to get some jam, I'm going to get some fondant, and I'm going to get some coloured fondant. OK, 
Okay, so here I have some jam. I just want to loosen it up a little because it's just come out of the fridge. And I'm just going to put a little on and then sandwich two biscuits together. We're going to take some icing. I'm just going to uh, soften it a little. Okay, so we're going to take a little puff ball, fill it with corn flour and dab it on our work surface with our fondant. And we're going to roll our fondant out. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a little food glue and we're going to stick on some fondant to our rounds. Some edible glue and a little brush. So I'm just going to rub it on to our rounds. And then I'm going to cut out 12 rounds with the cutter. The same size that I used to cut out the rounds of shortbread. Then I'm going to stick that on the top, just like so. So our German biscuits are now taking shape. So we'll get rid of the white. And we're going to put a nice little pattern on the top. Again, just soften it up a little. A little more corn flour. I'm going to roll it out. And this time I've got different cutters that I'm going to use. Put some glue on as well because we just feel like it today. There we go, shortbread made easy.